Out of the darkness, another creature materializes. Fisher's seahorse. Not another alien micromonster of the deep, but a creature many would regard as cute. Not much is known about this mysterious resident only found in the open waters around the Hawaiian Islands. Presumably because it seems nature has played a cruel joke on them. What drove a fish that traded all useful swimming adaptations most fish enjoy for a prehensile tail to anchor themselves to seaweed or rocks, and pushed them into the vast emptiness of the open sea where there is not a single object to hold on to. Yet somehow, here they are, using their one functional fin to slowly swim around. What we do know is during the day they live at about 100 meters beneath the sea, then at night make the arduous journey to the very surface of the ocean to feed on tiny plankton, as like all the other animals I have met tonight, they are predators, just awkward and seemingly as ill-equipped to be out here as I am. So, I went diving in the open sea at night to meet some nightmare of the deep, and instead bumped into one of the cutest fish in the sea. And maybe, if a fish as slow and defenseless as a pelagic seahorse isn't afraid to charge headfirst into the abyss when weird land creatures interrupt their midnight snack, maybe this is not a world of monsters and unseen horrors, and this can be a place of peace just drifting in the currents among the tinafores.